Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 21st, 2025. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather for summer solstice 2025. Showing here the last 48 hours on our star, we've got big plasma filaments stretching across both the northern and southern hemisphere. We've seen one X-class solar flare in the past two days. We've also got coronal holes to deal with, increasing our solar winds up and over 500 kilometers per second. That is double the average solar wind speed hitting Earth. Big coronal hole, equatorial region turning into view, and the big plasma ropes stretching from the equator up and around both the hemispheres of our sun. Amazing images today. Solar Cycle 25 definitely putting on a show and has been for the past five years. Lasting an 11-year cycle, here's a look at the incoming sunspot region in fluid motion as we've got some major sunspots on the backside that are going to be turning into view. Here's a look at the magnetic field of our sun. And this is since June 1st as we've had coronal hole after coronal hole affecting our planet just keeps turning around we keep being affected our magnetosphere getting compromised current space weather conditions we are under none right now solar winds coming in at 540 kilometers per second here's a look at the solar winds and the pressure planes depicting our magnetosphere during this coronal hole event. So a solar maximum lasts about 11 years, and it is one of two cycles on our sun, solar minimum and then solar maximum, high solar output. Solar X-ray flux showing strong C-class, if not minor M-class, and as well the X1.2 Solar proton flux coming down. Geomagnetic activity sitting at a KP2 for now. Here's a current Space Weather Prediction Center showing their space weather spiral. Forecast for tonight and into tomorrow. Minor geomagnetic instability. And as well, coronal hole wind stream in the bottom diagram. And here come the next coronal hole wind streams. Showing LASCO 3 here. Wide spectrum of cosmic energies leaving our sun. Left-hand side looking at Mercury getting ready for a retrograde in between the sun and us. Amazing images here brought to you by SOHO at NASA. And as well, Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play. Here is our most recent coronal mass ejection events. Big plasma filament taking off from the backside of the sun. Tonight's Aurora view line and tomorrow, a little bit more prevalent tomorrow. Now let's have a look at earthquakes past 24 hours. As we were expecting large earthquakes, we've only seen this 6.1 here. Nimuro in Japan, off the coast of Japan, right on the ridge line of the Pacific Plate. We've seen deep earthquakes the past few days as well. 540 kilometer depth, 519 and as well, 253 at Kermadec Trench. Lots of activity through Indonesia. Big eruption at Luatolo and Luatobi. Earthquakes, Greece. They're starting to pile up yet again. And as well, Iran. Yesterday, reporting a 5.1. And that was just east of Tehran, Iran. As well, Afghanistan. Reporting some pretty strong earthquakes. Notable earthquake swarm here, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, just north of Easter Island. Earthquakes down into the Scotia Plate, nothing major. Notable 4.5 earthquake here on the tip of Greenland. Tesalak, Greenland, 4.3 there, Rec Jane's Ridge. Central America, too quiet. South America, too quiet. 5.2 Ecuador. And North American plate, way too quiet. A lot of minor seismicity is building up through California. 
pressure still being released at the Kilauea volcano, one of 79 active and erupting volcanoes across the world. Here's a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers, largest being the 6.1 that occurred today in Japan. We are expecting something larger over the next 24 hours. Stay aware and prepared. You live in an earthquake prone zone. Just have a plan and be ready. Hashtag no fear here. Just aware and prepared. Pacific Plate, heads up right up into the Cascades in Alaska. Now let's have a look at the air quality forecast brought to you by windy.com. Showing here sulfur dioxide emissions after large 25th episode eruption at the Kilauea volcano. As well, Kamchatka, eastern Russia, multiple volcanoes there, even Micronesia, Papua New Guinea. Big eruption at Luatolwi and lots of sulfur dioxide floating across the Australian continent, central Congo, South Africa, all through eastern India and Southeast Asia being inundated by sulfur dioxide emissions and as well carbon influx. Due to the 79 active and erupting volcanoes around the world, the increased cloud cover in our electric universe. Here is a look at satellite imagery. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected in North Dakota as we had a terratio affect them. Two monstrous tornadoes literally barreling for each other over the state, crashing into each other and crashing eastward, storming eastward actually. Big thunderstorm plume off of Lake Huron heading into parts of northern Ontario. We could see a very large tornado there. Please get into the comment section if you are in the region because that is a big system. But yeah, again, thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these storms, aka tornadoes, and northern Ontario. Look at this big plume as these storms race across Michigan and Wisconsin. bringing a little bit of rain this morning, possible thunderstorms, and that system is still now racing north-northeast. But a big plume here, right off of Lake Superior and Huron. Looking at satellite imagery from above here, next rad radar showing the thunderstorm cells as they came across late today, this afternoon through Ontario. There were some severe weather warnings, but look at these cloud tops just smashing into our troposphere, rising up through the daytime heating. Amazing images brought to you by Nexrad. Now let's have a look at Zoom Earth, showing satellite imagery of these major systems that were racing across the nation. Minneapolis, Chicago were affected by a pretty strong system the other day. Calgary, seeing enormous amounts of rain today and yesterday. It's going to continue for at least one more day. Major system getting stalled and eventually will be tracking eastward. Same with the system now that just affected Ontario. Now let's have a look at our world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. System still racing towards the Atlantic provinces. And then the next Alberta clipper comes in. And same scenario through the northeast province, or sorry, northeast states and eastern provinces of Canada. Watch for extreme weather all week long as summer is here. And we're going to see this convective energy every day with daytime evaporation. Strong system in the long range. Could see some snow for parts of northern Ontario and Quebec. Parts of BC and Alberta did receive some snowfall, higher elevations through Banff and Jasper. Long range forecast, high pressure ridge moving in and very, very hot. Overlooking Africa, Southeast Asia and Australia. Low pressure system grinding south of Australia. Not going to bring much rain until the long range to possibly southeastern regions other than that no cyclones possible strong systems developing through india and the central indian ocean 
No forecasted strong systems here. No typhoons and no cyclones. Just some strong low-pressure systems bring in some rain. High-pressure ridge clears it out. Now, all of our weather really depends on what our upper-level winds are doing. And, of course, the upper-level winds produced by our solar winds, our magnetosphere. Here's a look at our jet stream right now as we've got a very erratic northern hemisphere jet stream. Strong low-pressure systems. Jet streams up and down. Southern hemisphere. Look at the upper level winds, 303 kilometers an hour through parts of the Antarctic. Quick little browse here at the upper level winds and what's going on with our planet right now. Southern hemisphere is amped up. Wait until you see the upper level winds. This is actually at 25,000 feet. Here's at 50,000. This is the Southern Hemisphere Polar Vortex. For winter 2025, strong and dominant on the west side of Antarctica, moving towards South America. Looking at these upper level winds, in some places, up to 420 kilometers an hour. Earth changes right before our eyes, folks, and we've seen multiple events over the last little while. It's evident. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe and healthy, stay aware and prepared, and get your daily due. Good night, and have a great weekend. Enjoy your summer. Bye-bye now. Thank you.